Nigeria is a country of great potentialities, but it also faces many challenges. One of the key issues the nation faces is how to become more prosperous and achieve an equitable society. These are points taken at the 28th University of Lagos Muslim Alumni Ramadan Lecture with a the theme, National Transformation Between Responsible Leaders and Responsive Citizenry. Senior Correspondent Adedoja Salam Adini has details. The essence of leadership. The discussion here is about the responsibility of leaders and right of the followers as stated in Islam, the reality in Nigeria and how to make the country better. These have attracted politicians, Islamic scholars and other faithful. Nigeria remains a country of potentials. When and how exactly the country will transit from the near comatose situation it is now, if not a successful country, remains a challenge. Taking the audience through his speech, Moise Banire says, to have any major positive change in the country, a leader must believe in the rule of law and be accountable to avoid consequences like poverty, unemployment, social unrest, among others. Leadership in Islam is a manner, is trust. You must ensure that uh, the, your governance is participatory. You must equally ensure that there is justice in the land. You believe in justice. You don't apply one set of law to one people, a set of people and another to an, uh, another set. You must ensure as a transformational leader that the resources of the country are used in the best manner, that is maximally. Your civil service, your governance must be efficient and effective and there must be equity and inclusiveness. You must see criticism as a feedback mechanism as, uh, uh, not as condemnation. Others spoke on the need for responsible leadership and responsive followership. What I have observed in our country is that most of the followers follow blindly. We must be able to challenge our leaders and not treat them as God. Quite a number of people can't find money to do any transaction. In fact, the effect that we have on our economy is yet to be written. What we currently have, there's a trust deficit between the leadership and the governed. And I think the very first tax of Bola Tinubu is to unite the country, is to provide a national vision, is to have come with some national ethos that we all subscribe to. To have a better Nigeria, the citizenry advised to be willing to contribute their time, energy, and resources to the common good of the country. Adiluja, Salam Adiluja, TVC News, Lagos. But troops of oppression.